in the earlier lecture i talked about the chaotic pendulum and i derived the differential equation for a chaotic pendulum now today i am going to talk about the limit cycle and mode locking these are the two special cases of chaotic pendulum so to begin with let us start with the equation of uh, or the differential equation of chaotic pendulum so following is the differential equation of chaotic pendulum that which we have derived in the earlier lecture d square theta by dt square is equal to minus omega naught square sin theta minus alpha d theta upon dt plus f of cos of omega t so to be solved on a computer let us try to simplify it so for this let us consider that y1 is equal to theta and say y2 is equal to d theta upon dt where theta is a function of time so now dy1 over d theta and uh, sorry dy1 over dt it can be written as like this uh, means it is y2 so therefore this equation will become sorry not this equation but if i do little algebra here it means for d square theta by dt square then it can be written as upon d upon dt and d theta upon dt at here this is y2 so that means i can write down it as d y2 upon dt right so therefore using this and this this equation can be written as so this equation will become it is uh, dy2 over over dt minus omega naught square is equal to minus omega naught square sine of y1 minus alpha y2 plus f of cos of omega t this is just to make it uh, simplified so using these two equations we can solve these equations on computer i am not going to write down or going to discuss here the computer program my objective is in this lecture to discuss the concepts of limit cycle and mode locking so now this equation can be easily solved on a computer right so but the thing which we have to keep in mind this can be solved on computer but the results what the results obtained after after the solution after the solution are very difficult are very difficult to analyze analyze to to reach at fruitful conclusion so for that what do we do we will examine we will examine simple limiting cases so that so that motion is 
easily understandable understandable right so let us try to discuss here the two cases now uh, these are the two cases which we have so let us discuss both the cases now let us take case one the case one is the case where omega is equal to omega naught what does it mean where omega is what omega is the driving frequency of the driving force it is the driving frequency of the driving force and omega naught is the natural frequency of the oscillator it is the natural frequency of the oscillator now consider chaotic pendulum is driven by a weak force now consider a case when the pendulum or the chaotic pendulum is driven by weak force right and this case is known as limit cycle the case which I am discussing it is the limit cycle what which I am talking about right so this is the case so chaotic pendulum is driven by a weak force what does it mean it means that omega is equal to omega naught right and this steady state will be attained will be attained after the initial transients die off after the initial transients die off as we have seen in case of nonlinear dynamics also and at this stage average energy at this stage average energy put into the system system in one period is exactly balances balances the average energy energy dissipated by friction friction during that period so let us try to understand that what does it mean so that means what will happen due to friction there is a dissipation of energy and equal amount of energy has been provided by the external agency or the external force right so that's what will happen so what does it mean mathematically I can write down that this is the driving force frequency and its average must be equal to the alpha d theta over dt and because this term alpha d theta upon dt is corresponds to dissipation right so it must be equal to so this is the condition of steady state 
right? This is the condition of steady state. And this leads to limit cycle. And this leads to this leads to a limit cycle cycle in which motion is stable motion is stable in the presence of friction right and in terms of in terms of his space in terms of phase space limit cycle is a limit cycle is a closed curve curve to which the system to which the system stabilizes in phase space stabilizes in phase space right so this is all about the limiting case now i'm going to discuss the another case that's again very interesting that case is known as mode locking so let us go to the next case and we call this case as mode lock we call this case as mode locking in this case in this case driving torque is much larger driving torque or sometimes we can say that driving force is much larger such that driving torque torque overpowers the powers the natural oscillations natural oscillations and this is the example of mode locking This is the example of mode locking and mode locking occurs for both for both linear and nonlinear systems and nonlinear systems but it shows unusual behavior it show unusual behavior for non linear system system under right condition under right conditions driving force may may lock onto system 
onto system by exciting its overtones. Overtones and here frequencies related as related as that omega over omega naught is equal to n over m where n m are integers where n is greater than m because driving torque overpowers the natural frequency right so this i can say that when the driving force is larger or overpowers the natural oscillations then systems lock onto system by exciting its overtones right so this is the idea behind the mode locking in case of uh, chaotic pendulum so that's all for this lecture